Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. So we are back, and we have got a bit of a channel debut. We have got Seb with his Death Guard, and so we haven't had the Death Guard on before, so it's going to be quite a tasty battle. I've brought my Astral Claws out, so a bit of an Ultramarine successor chapter. Yeah, um, sort of. Sort of. Very debatable <laughs> with the lore if you actually do look into them. Um, yeah, so we're running 2,000 points today, and uh, so and so I've brought some big toys out of the Death Guard. Yeah, I uh, brought myself the Mortarian today, so I've only used him uh, in the past, not very much, uh, but I got some Terminators to back him up. So yeah. Some troops. It's going to be a very tasty one to go up against today. Uh, just a big shout out that we are at like nearly 960 subs, we're nearly at 1,000, it's pretty crazy. Uh, so thank you for subscribing and keeping us going basically <laughs> every time we cool. get to a milestone. Um, so yeah, so we'll have the armies in just a sec and we'll come back with that. So see you in a second. Okay, so this is my 2000 points of Astral Claws. I'm running a double patrol detachment, which is 2k on the nose. Leading up my first uh, patrol detachment, I do have Huron himself. He's come to join the party. Unfortunately, he's not my Warlord, as he's a Forge World model. He has to take Inspiring Leader as his Warlord trait, which is kind of useless. Um, so uh, he's definitely not going to be using that, and uh, I've chosen someone else to be my Warlord. Um, second HQ in the first patrol is my uh, Primaris Librarian, who is running with the Term of Malkador. So he gets the extra Psychic Power and can cast two. So he's taken Might of Heroes, Null Zone, and Veil of Time, which will just give me a few little tricks that I can play up against the Death Guard. Uh, troop choices. In my first patrol, I have two Intercessor squads, both uh, running bare bone, no extra bits. They are running auto bolt rifles, as I have taken the rapid uh, response to go with their traits. Uh, so that allows me to ignore any minuses when advancing with assault weapons. Uh, moving into the elites, I am running Blade Guard veterans. Uh, they are um, just bare bones, so they are just swords and shields. And a Blade Guard company banner as well. In the heavy support choices, I am running a Repulsor Executioner in the first patrol and a Whirlwind with a Castellan launcher. In my second patrol detachment, I am running my Warlord, which is my Primaris Lieutenant, with sword, at sword, shield, and Volkite pistol. His Warlord trait is the uh, Vox Espiritum, and the he's also got Imperium Sword. I have paid an extra CP to give him an extra Relic. Uh, so he will be leading up the force. In the fast attack, I have my Outriders, uh, it's the first time they've been on the channel, so it's a channel debut for them and um, for myself, so they will be interesting to use. And they are also backed up with some Assault Marines with Lightning Claws and the Flamer, as well as Chainsword and Bolt Pistols. And then filling out the other Elite slot is an Ironclad Dreadnought with the Seismic Hammer and Hurricane Bolters. He also has Assault Launchers and two Hunter Killer Missiles just to make up a few extra points to get me to 2k. And then in the last of my heavy support, I have got three uh, three-man unit of Eliminators. They are modeled with the bolt rifles, but I am running the Laz Fusiliers just to give me that a little bit of extra punch because uh, I am going to be trying to tear through some uh, higher toughness. And they have damage three; it'll go down to damage two, uh, so it does make it a bit more usable than the normal bolt rifles, which will just go down to damage one. And then last but not least, I have got a three-man squad of Eradicators, just with the standard uh, rifles, so they will be adding up that little bit of extra punch that I'll need for my army. So that is 2k of Astral Claws, and we'll be back in a second with the Death Guard. Death Guard, 2,000 points. Well, five points under that, but... I couldn't do anything else with those. And my force is made of a, a patrol detachment and a supreme command detachment. 
So Mortarian is my warlord. He's in my Supreme Command Attachment. He has to be my warlord for a couple of different reasons. Uh, but that gives him three warlord traits. That gives him... Uh, and makes him the warlord. Um, the warlord traits are, are given to him in that those are the ones he has to have. He doesn't have a choice. Uh, so he's got Arch Contaminator, uh, which is going to help to do wounds with the plague weapons. He's got the Living Plague Aura, so enemies within three can't use their auras. And he's got five up uh, DPR as well, five up damage prevention roll. Um, he's got some psychic powers, so he knows Miasma of Pestilence, uh, Putrescent Vitality, and Gift of Plagues. And then in my patrol detachment, I have uh, Typhus leading that, and Typhus uh, also knows two psychic powers. He knows Miasma of Pestilence and Plague Wind. Uh, and then I have a Malignant Plague Caster in the patrol as well. He has Putrescent Vitality and Curse of the Leper. And he is um, going to be upgraded to have an additional Warlord trait. That Warlord trait is going to give him an extra toughness and ignore AP minus one and minus two. And then his relic is going to be the Plague Skull of Glotholinia, which is a sort of pseudo grenade that does mortal wounds. Um, I think it can kill quite a lot of stuff if you get lucky with it. So that's a once per game ability, bring that along for fun. Obviously Typhus and Mortarian can't themselves take any relics, so it has to go on him. And that is my only character who isn't named. In my elite choice for my patrol, I have two Terminator squads. They are both identical, five-man Terminator squads. Uh, the sergeants or, or champions have the swords, just to mark them out as being different. Then the one model has a Plague Flail, Flail of Corruption, and one model has a Plague Spewer. And there's two squads of those five, both exactly the same. Because I have two squads of the Bubiotic Astartes Infantry, those guys, that means I'm allowed to have two squads of Poxwalkers, each 20 men. So I have 20 here in the sort of prison uniform, zombified models, and then I've got 20 in the current classic GW Poxwalker style. In my fast attack choices, I have a pair of fetid bloat drones. Um, this first one here has the uh, flesh mower. I think it's a really solid upgrade. Uh, makes it a bit of a combat beast, doing a ton of damage, uh, mowing people down. And then his little buddy has a uh, heavy blight launcher, and this is obviously a ranged weapon. Blight drones don't normally do this; they normally get in close with the sprayers or the or the uh, mower. This guy can sit off at 36, I can move him around, sort of treat him more like a fast moving gun platform. Both these models are still really tough with minus one damage, three plus save and five plus invulnerable. Speaking of those great saves, two Plague Burst Crawlers, and that rounds out the list. So these both have the standard heavy slugger. I think there's an argument to be made for the hail gun, but uh, I've stuck with the heavy slugger for now. And I've given these bad boys a pair of Entropy Cannons. These got a huge buff in the current Death Guard Codex. I think these are fantastic now. I was using them toward the end of the last book, but now I think they're a must-take. They do so much damage at range. And there's some really good strats for the Mortars. So I think I'm going to start the game on like 11 command points. I don't think I'm really spending very much before we start. And that is it. Ready to play some games. We'll come back with the mission in just a second. Today we are playing Priority Targets, Mission 33 from the current uh, chapter approved book. So this is the mission with five objectives, where the players move four of them before we start. So uh, Tom got the opportunity to move the first objective, uh, but I got to move the next two, and then I have to pull my first unit. So I, I ended up with uh, one objective being pulled out of my deployment zone, one objective being pushed uh, across in Tom's deployment zone, and the two central ones moving uh, about a bit. You then select two of them, um, one each to be the priority target objectives. Um, and I have selected uh, this one close to my deployment zone here. Tom has selected the one in his object in his uh, deployment zone back there. And we both picked that secondary that's to do with that as well, the uh, priority target secondary objective. The other secondary objectives today, Tom has taken Oath of Moments because he's a Space Marine player. And that makes sense. That's a really good one. 
and it's picked engage on all fronts because we're playing the diagonal deployments. Um, just being able to get into three table quarters is very easy with diagonal deployments. That's going to guarantee you at least two points every turn. Me, on the other hand, I picked Warp Ritual because I thought it'd be fun. I got three wizards, got to do a ritual near the center. It's almost unfailable, but can be denied. That would be hilarious. And I picked Stranglehold, hold more than half the objectives. With a five objective game, that seems like a really good idea. We'll quickly go over deployment before we roll off for the first turn. I've got Plague Burst Crawler here and the, uh, the mower here to defend that flank. Um, that flank that's got this uh, industrial dense terrain in that probably won't have any impact on today's game. Um, but that's in that corner. Um, I've got one squad of Terminators in the center here and... There's a truck going past. <laughs> and then I've got all my Pox Walkers in the center here, backed up by my other Plague Burst Crawler and my other uh, Fletched Blow Drone. I've got uh, five um, Terminators here in Deep Strike. Well, the way priority targets works, I wanted to put some threat on Tom's backfield so that if I do get both objectives, I do score that five points. Uh, and then also just being able to like, quickly land wherever I need them to, if I need them to, um, might come in handy. So on this flank, in this other piece of uh, dense terrain that we've got on the tabletop, we've got some uh, snipers here, but today they are anti-tank. Um, they're using the large fusels. Um, they're going to benefit from uh, probably minus one to hit here and plus one for their cover. That's a really good spot for them. You've got some anti-tank units here and the Dreadnought for some counterpunch with a flank of uh, assault intercessors and assault marines. And then your main sort of like infantry castle um, with your characters. Just want to point them out for me. Uh, so you've got Huron, the guy with the flag, and then you've got my lieutenant, who's my warlord, and then my not-so-chaotic wizard hiding at the back. And then an ancient in there with the blade guard at the front. Um, they're backed up by your vehicle posse in the back here, hiding behind the building there with the whirlwind and uh, the <laughs> tank. And then you've got one more squad. Just one yeah. last squad? Yeah, just or... one uh, intercessor squad hiding over here. Excellent. So um, have you got a dice ready, Tom? I have. Excellent, because I do as well. And that means it's time to roll off for first turn. I rolled a two. I rolled a two. Oh, okay, I guess so, we better roll those roll. again. <laughs> Five to a one. I have to take the first turn. That is great for Mortarian. That is probably bad for Tom. Yeah. If you've been able to get some damage in on Morty early, that might have been really good for him. I'm going to get my psychic powers up now. I'm going to get Morty in your face. I put him here in the center already because there was no way of hiding him from Tom's army. So I just sort of stuck him out the front, just out of range of the eradicators with no other uh, thinking going on there. So we'll come back after my movement phase turn one. Yeah. Death Guard coming up. <music> Death Guard movement phase turn one completed and I've gone up the middle. So the Terminators, they got a five inch advance that sort of set the tone for everything. So they were able to get to the central objective. That meant that I'm on three for this turn, including the priority objective, which meant I just ignored this one for this turn. The bloat drone, of course, here was, was in range to go and grab that if I needed to. But having got the center, um, just, I don't have obsec there, so Tom can come grab that back from me. And he probably will to get Oath of Moment, but uh, then he's coming closer to me. So, uh, yeah, what else happened? Well, the other bloke drone and the uh, vehicle went up this flank. They can see some marines over there. I'm going to bring some mortar shells down in a minute. In the center, I moved up so my entropy cannons are in range of one of the tanks. And I moved this bloke drone here that I mentioned earlier, uh, just so that he was able to uh, get uh, in range and line of sight of these guys on the top here to do some damage before they get to melt a gun me. Um, and then um, we are going to go into the psychic phase, which is going to be fun because they've got a ritual to do. Uh, Morty's in range of that. Tom's got one deny that's in range of Mortarian, but my other two uh, wizards are out of deny range. So we'll be back with Psychic Phase just one second. Death Guard Psychic Phase, turn one. So you've got some Psychic Powers to do now, haven't we, Tom? Yeah, well, we just spent an hour going through the entire Death Guard Codex trying to find all Morty's rules. Yeah, <laughs> not quite a full hour, but yeah, like a decent amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> so um, just letting Tom know everything that he does. Um, we've got two defensive psychic powers we can do on these two guys. Um, then their, their offensive powers and their smites are out of range. Then we can do the, uh, the ritual with Mortarian near the center. Get me a tally point on that. That'll probably be the, be the one that Tom tries to stop. Morty's other powers um, are limited by range. And then he also has the ability to increase his own contagion range, which I will do. So I will start by trying to cast um, Myers of Pestilence on Mortarian. So this is Myers one to hit. This is from the Malignant Playcaster. That is a fail. So I'm going to spend a CP. And that's a pass. On a seven. It's lucky for some. 
So um, Mortarian is now minus one to hit, and then I'm going to use uh, Typhus to put plus one to hit onto the Death Guard with um, the other buffing psychic power on a seven. It's lucky for some. Um, that is called Protection Vitality and requires a seven. Then uh, Mortarian will attempt to cast uh, the Ritual on the center of the battlefield. While within six, he casts on a three. Actually, I need to double check. This might be the only one he can do if he does this. Um, he casts it on an eight. Would you like to try and deny, Tom? Yes, I am going to try and deny it. This um, is basically three points. <laughs> yes, I'm, unfortunately I'm going to be rolling over here because I have got a bad knee, so I'm not very it's mobile. Okay. Um, no. That's a four. Would you like to CP that, sir? Yes. You need to roll a nine. Okay. Into the building. Into the building isn't the best, so that's a two. And a four. So that's a six. So that's one psychic ritual performed. I will just double check if I'm allowed to do a psychic action and other psychic powers. I will double check that. And if I'm allowed to, I will come back and I will do one more power on him. Otherwise, we'll be going into the shooting phase. Death Guard shooting turn two. I was right, psychic actions, if you do those, then you can't do any other uh, psychic powers that turn. You forgot all your others, which is fine. He'd have just been increasing his, in his contagion range to 12. Um, so we're going to start with some shooting. I'm going to start with uh, Plague Burst Crawler in the centre here. And he's going to be firing down the field uh, at Tom's infantry castle and his tank. So entropy cannons into the uh, repulsor. And I'm going to use the mortar stratagem on the, the vehicle here. One CP goes up to damage three and does mortal wounds to nearby units. And I'm going to target the blade guard. Let's get rid of them. I did think about shooting at some of these maybe anti-tank units up in the, the buildings and the terrain over here. I think I'm just going to focus down the, the blade guard and deal with them. So we'll start with the entropy cannons. Uh, Plague Burst Corps went up to Ballistic Skill 3+, plus, which is amazing. Uh, so one hit with them. And I wound your vehicles on fours, because I'm Strength 8. Um, toughness 8? Yeah. Uh, that's a one, um, but fortunately it is a Plague Weapon. So I reroll ones. And it is now five. Uh, it's minus four AP, because obviously... So no save on the repulsor tank. And that's D3 damage plus three. For six damage on the repulsor tank. Oof. That is a great start for the uh, mortar tank there. Then I am going to fire the mortar into the blade guard. It gets uh, D6 shots. It's got a blast keyword, but obviously that doesn't matter on this occasion. Three shots. Oh. That's nice. And three hits. And I wound blade guard on... Twos, I believe, with a Plague Burst Mortar. It's Strength 8 and your Toughness 4. And it's a Plague Weapon, I'd re-roll. It's three wounds, and those are minus two, putting you onto your four up in Vulnerable Save on the Blade Guard. Yes, so three. Ooh. That two fails. That would be two dead Blade Guard at this point with damage three. I'm gonna CP one. Okay, that's gonna put you down to uh, eight. eight command points. Right, and that's one pass. So, um, one blade guard is going to die, and that's, I spent a command point there, so I also went down to uh, nine, actually, because uh, I spent one in the psychic phase as well. There we go. Nine on that. And because I hit with that mortar, I'm then going to do mortal wounds to everyone nearby. We'll roll that off camera. Uh, it's just a lot of four pluses and adding one wound to models and remembering how many wounds everyone's got. We'll do that and in a second. I'll do the banner as well. Um, yeah, and we'll do the banner. Should you just see if he can fire his pistol now? Yeah. He's only got range um, 15. Let's just see if he can shoot me back. No, uh, no so he's not going to be firing. That means we won't forget that either. Um, and then I'll do the, the heavy uh, sluggers off camera as well. This mortar tank, I'm also going to... Um, going to switch... No, I'm going to just hit the blade guard again. Um, it's only damage to this one. Um, but Blade Guard, I, I keep thinking Blade Guard have got three wounds, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. And then the two entropy cannons will go into what I can see here uh, in the in the backfield there. So we'll just quickly do the entropy cannons. Two shots, hit on threes, that's two hits. And they wound on twos, re-rolling, uh, that's two wounds. And it's minus four AP, I'm not sure why I let you roll that. I, yeah, I don't know why. Either. And it's uh, damage <laughs> D3 plus three each, so that's yeah. just two dead dudes. Entropy cannons went from being okay anti-tank to being bright lances of anti-tank <laughs> basically play bright lances which is better than bright lance and then the mortar is d6 shots this is into the blade guy as well three shots again uh two hits no way of modifying that and two wounds two more in runs on the blade guard one fail one pass yeah so that's one dude on one wound remaining 
Uh, and then we have a uh, blight hauler. No, not a blight hauler. A bloat drone. I don't know why I said that. It's just the, the wrong name for it. And he is a fast attack choice. And he was on the same page as the other unit. And he has a heavy blight launcher, which is six shots. And he is going to fire at... You might not be able to see them, but I can. The eradicator is in the window there. Six shots, um, which are going to hit on threes. Oh, that was shocking. Okay, well, we'll get rid of all those misses. Two hits. Well, on the bright side, it's strength six. So two wounds, plague weapon, minus three AP. They're in cover, so a five up, two saves to make. Tom? Nope. That two fails? Yep. And they are damaged two. So is that one eradicator completely destroyed? That is. Excellent. That is great progress. Um, excellent. So I've got a couple of little uh, sluggers to do. I've got um, some combi bolters to fire. Um, we already resolved um, the shots back. And we've got some mortal wounds to do there. And that is the end of my first shooting phase. And because I'm not going to declare any charges this turn, that means it is also the end of my turn one uh, for the Death Guard. And we're going into Tom's... Uh, turn one for the Astral Claws, see what you can do in response. Awesome, so that's the end of my movement phase. So I've spread out a little bit. Uh, these guys down here didn't um, have to do, well, automatically pass them out because I'm Ultramarine successor. So my sergeant is on like a nine. So even though they lost a third even though, Yeah, it doesn't affect it. Uh, scores on the doors at the moment. Uh, Seb, what was it you managed to score? So I scored um, one of my rituals that's worth three points. I got my stranglehold. I was holding three objectives at the end of my turn, more than half. And I got the first of uh, the priority targets because I was holding uh, my chosen objective. Um, so it puts me on nine. Uh, but you're looking good on engage. You're going to get two this turn. You've got the outriders who are in that table quarter. Um, just, you've easily got your own table quarter and this one, that's three table quarters and then um, Oath of Moment, you haven't fallen back this turn uh, so that's worth a point and you didn't, you know, you didn't fall back to Infernal Morale and you are looking for target priorities as well which is your home objective, so those two guys stayed on it um, so you're looking pretty good on points as well at the end of the turn that'll be 8-9 uh, um, yeah um, quick question. How many wounds does a Plague Burst Crawler have? It's an incredibly good question. I don't know why you waited to now to ask me. It's uh, <laughs> more than 10, but less than 20. Uh, and I actually haven't it's got enough. 12. Of, cool. 12 wounds left on the... I haven't got enough in range to pop that one, though. No, um, but we've got to do a Psychic Phase first. We aren't going to do a Psychic Phase. Um, so I am going to try and pull off Null Zone. Yeah, because so that... you, you moved a wizard up here so that he's yeah. within six of the Terminators. It's a, well, you needed a five on the advance to do that. Yes. Got it. Uh, we did a whole bunch of advances, actually. But, um, sorry, maybe you needed a four because you get the plus one. Yes. So and I got, got a rod of six anyway, so I could have gone to seven. But you couldn't quite get in range of Morty. So no. you stayed on the objective, outnumbered me, regardless of how many casualties I take. But you can null zone me down here. These guys are going to stop me from maybe getting into your other guys rather than over committing too many models. And then hopefully they'll be able to get into the centre next time, maybe they'll have to get engaged next time. I'm not really sure how this is going to go, but... Oh, we'll see what happens. I've got plenty of denies over here, but I've got no modifiers to my denies. I don't have any psychic hoods or anything. Cool. So, it is a seven to manifest. Uh, that's not a seven. Uh, so we will spend the CP. Right, it's going to put you down to seven. Yep. That's a nine. So nine, so... Um, I'm going to try and deny that. I'm going to use uh, Mortarian, doesn't matter. Um, uh, uh, that's a three. Three. And then I am going to CP it as well. Why not? Yeah. Then? This puts me down to nine as well. Uh, still failed. Still failed. One by three. So, so no zone. Yeah, everyone within six. So just the Terminators. Just the Terminators are now very weak. And then you got, what's your other side plan? Uh, I can do Might of Heroes or Veil of Time. Or you could just smite me. Or I could just smite you and you have no invun. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes. would, but <laughs> I think smite's probably the best. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a smite on the term Terminators. Uh, so five. So four. No, that's four. the end of the psychic phase. Yep, it's the end of the psychic. Uh, so I'm just gonna tell you what I am gonna shoot at, and then we'll come back with any of the big guns that will be probably going into Mortarian and stuff. 
Um, so we'll be back in just a sec. In the shooting phase now, and we've started with... The two eradicators in the building. Um, I'm going to put... We discussed it. I could throw a load of shots at Morty. Probably not going to do anything to him. He's probably just going to laugh it off. But where the Terminators have an invulnerable save, anything that's high AP, high damage, is at least going to cause them a lot of pain. Yeah, it might kill them. Yeah, especially as I'm in Devastated Doctrine, so all my AP now goes plus one. Uh, these guys are all not heavy weapons, so... No, but it, the it, last fusils... It'll be. affect the last fusils and uh, the tank. Tank, yeah. Uh, so any AP 4 and 5 is really good yeah. against Terminators right now. Uh, so we are just going to start with the Maltor. So I get four shots, hitting on threes. One miss. And I'm wounding you on... Threes. Three. So two wounds. And it's minus four, right? Yep. So with no invun, I get a six up save. Chuck goes to a six up and no passes. No so it's, um, they're not within half range though, are they? No. From up here. So it's just d6 damages. Uh, and it's minus one. So roll well, Tom. That's one damage. And then four damage. So one guy dead. One guy dead, yeah. Uh, maybe a CP after the first one might have been a good call <laughs> there. Um, I'm going to take off a bolt gun guy. He's holding an axe. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to do the last fusils into them as well. So these are only going to be damaged too because of disgusting resilience. Yes. Uh, so it's going to take two shots to kill a guy. It will do. But you're just going to try and kill as many as you can. Yeah, and three shots. Hitting on threes. Two hits. Two hits. And then there's strength eight or toughness. So Five. Three. Threes. One wound. One wound. Minus um, four. Minus four because of um, Devastator, so the same thing. So six up. Failed. So I've got two wounds left on one of my other axe-wielding Terminators. Yep. What are you shooting next, Tom? Uh, so I'm going to shoot the Castellan launcher off the uh, whirlwind into them as well. Okay. Um, so This is normally damage two, becomes damage one against me. Yep. And you were originally going to put this into Poxwalkers, right? But I was, but... It'll just kill like five or six. Yeah. But you could wipe out remember. that some more Terminators. Yeah. So it's two D3 shots. Which, Five, not bad. Not bad. And hitting on threes. Yep. Oh, that's terrible. Only two? Yep. What strength is the Castellan launcher? Uh, strength seven. Seven, so it's threes. In the tray, Tom. And, uh, so okay, two, two go through. And it's uh, minus two this turn, right? Uh, minus three because it's heavy. No, it's not heavy. It, it is. is minus. It is definitely heavy, but I think it's minus one base, right? It goes to minus yeah. two from Devastator. So four up save, uh, pass one, fail one, that is one damage, that is another Terminator destroyed. At least we're slowly munching through them. <laughs> Have we got any other big guns to do before we uh, do the tank? No. Uh, well, I could do some small arms fire, but we'll mop that up afterwards. So what are you going to do with the big cannon? D3 plus three damage, right? Yeah. Do I try and wipe that Terminator squad out? I mean, if it gets two hits, two wounds, it's killing two of them. Yeah, so maybe big cannon, heavy bolters... Stubbers and just uh, are you just, shots. You're just going to put everything into the tunnel yeah, and just wipe them? Yeah, let's just go for it. Okay. So, big cannon. Da, da, da. I haven't used it in a long time. It's heavy too. Yep. So, it's two shots. Cool. But I also get to add one to my attack roll. Hit roll. Hit roll, sorry. Um, so, it is BS2. Yep, that makes sense. Two's to hit. Both hit. Yeah, they hit on threes. Yeah. And it's strength ten. Uh, da, 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 Twelve. That means it's twos. Yeah. Better than firing into Morty. So, da, 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 two Relevant. go through. It's minus five. Okay, so uh, I think, let me just, uh, so three up, four up, five up, six up, seven plus save. Yep, so I don't get a save against yep. minus five. So it's D three plus three. And then minus one. Minus one. So, so three damage per shot. Yeah. Minimum. Um, because you can't... Oh, oh, you rolled it. Okay. I've rolled it anyway. The first one uh, did five damage, and the second one did three. Yes. That's two dead Terminators. Going to keep the flail. Why the not, right? maths you've said has prevailed. <laughs> oh, I got one more squad of these guys in Deep Strike there, Tom, so... That's true. You've got to do this again. But I probably could do. <laughs> so we've got, what, what next? Heavy Bolters? Yeah, Heavy Bolters, so Heavy Six. Indeed. Uh, two, four, six. Hit on three. Yes. All hit. 
Ugh, grace. Uh, you need fours to win with heavy bolters. So two wounds. Two wounds, it's minus two this turn. Yep. Um, one pass, one fail. Two damage from the heavy bolter becomes damage one. So he's down. Two. Two wounds. <laughs> yep, and then the heavy stubber. Um, and then you've got a heavy, uh, a cognitive yep. stubber on the back as well, right? Yes. So um, that's basically three heavy stubbers equivalent. Yes. So that's eight shots from the rear and. Eight? That's way too many. And then four from the front one, right? That's heavy eight there. I know. <laughs> so 12 shots in total? Yeah, and then four from the front. Yep. Yeah. Um, and these are only strength four, so they're going to wound yeah. on. Well, maybe Poxwalkers would have been a better target for these guys. Uh, but just trying to clear my. Uh, terminators. What if the big cannons had missed, right? Yeah. Just bring it up, so one. And then... You need fives to wound these guys, though. Wound. That's not too bad, still two. Um, and it's got AP two this turn, or one? Uh, AP two. So four up saves. Four up saves to make. One pass, one fail. He's down to one wound remaining. Oh, now he's got to take 12 shots. Oh yeah, now you're going to do the heavy onslaught. <laughs> heavy onslaught, so 12 shots. Hitting on that threes. Twos aren't so great because I'm not iron hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day. Uh, stroke six of the spiral, so threes. Yep. Not your best roll. Nope. Four saves to make. Four saves at minus two because of Death Doctrine. Yes. Um, that is three fails. That is him dead. Um, yeah, the heavy stubber should have gone elsewhere. It turns out. Everything else was enough to kill this guy. There we go. That's the Terminator's wiped. That's the big tank fired. That's the whirlwind fired. That's the Luz Fusel's fired. Eradicators the Eradicator's fired. fired. So we've just got some small arms here, which yep. we'll do into Poxwalkers, and we'll do into Morty off camera if they can't reach the Poxies. And we've got some bikers here yes. who can uh, get some shots in, try and close some screen as well. Um, and we will come back with There'll probably no charges. No charges. No. I mean, there's no charges. reason to charge with these guys. I'll just eat them. Yeah. Um, if you're I'd able rather to, rather you come to me. Yeah. Um, and if I come to you and then I don't kill this guy, I still lose my invulnerable save. So at the moment, until your next psychic phase, that's in effect. But I'm hoping I'm going to be able to deal with him. <laughs> I should be able to. I got my Glothkin special magic grenade all the way back here. If I get that within range, then you're in big trouble, Tom. <laughs> that's not really true. Okay, we'll come back um, probably in Death Guard, uh, turn two with a points wrap up. Beginning of turn two, Death Guard. So, um, first of all, a little bit of housekeeping from last turn. Yes. I cast some psychic <laughs> powers and then we just completely forgot about them. I'm going to make sure I use the cards in future. These terminators are toughness six. You overkilled them a little bit, maybe. So, yeah, I but the heavy bolters would have been wounding on fives. Everything else was basically the same, though, or very similar. Yeah. And then you had some more like like shots you could have put in if you didn't quite clear them. That's my fault for getting for forgetting that. I use the cards in future. More to it was been minus one to hit. That might have been a bigger deal. Um, those are obviously going to end now anyway. Going into my turn. Um, other shooting that you did. Two pox walkers from here died. To um, some. Uh, uh, assault guns being fired by guys who advanced. Yep, uh, a lot of pox walkers over there died. You can see that this 20 man squad is now at a fraction of its original size. So the bikers shot into here, uh, some more assault bolters shot into here, uh, and then there was the odd sort of um, heavy bolt pistol as well. So they're down quite low. No morale checks to take for pox walkers though. So that is good. And then scores for the end of Tom's turn. So secondary is Tom. Engage in all fronts. Yes. How many fronts? Three. So that's two points um, for that. Um, Oath of Moments, did you kill any characters or monsters this turn? No. No, no characters or monsters um, or vehicles. So zero points for that part. Did you stand wholly within six of the center with a unit? Uh, yeah. So that's two points for that part. Did you fail any morale checks or fall back during the battle round? No. So that's another point. So three points for Oath of Moment. That secondary is so good. And target priorities. Obviously, the two guys standing here holding this objective. I'm going to try and fix that in my turn. Uh, force Tom to maybe move his whirlwind out to hold that objective. Um, I've got more to so try and deal with them. But scoring for my turn, I'm holding two, like we said before, this one and the one back here. Tom is holding two. 
the center um, and then his in his deployment zone. So I'm not holding more. So I'm going to score 10 on the primary going into Death Guard's turn. Oh, I also get a little uh, cheeky command point beginning of my <laughs> in my command phase. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll come back after there's some movement. Turn two, movement phase for the Death Guard complete. Sort of a bit of a shuffle, a few little things that I wasn't really sure about. So I've actually left the Poxwalkers in this building. If for some reason Tom gets onto this objective, then I can pounce. I was a bit worried if I just move them out, then they would just get shot. But then I deep strike these Terminators here. So maybe I should have done both, bring them out the Poxwalkers and do the deep strike. For some reason I just did one of those. We'll see if that comes back to bite me. Not sure that was my smartest move. A little worried about this Dreadnought. Might be able to put some firepower into him. Deal with him. I've got some Psychic to do in a minute. Typhus is within 6 of the centre. Morty is within 6 of the centre for doing my ritual. And this guy is not. Because he rolled like a 1 on his advance rolls. So he's really slow. A few Poxwalkers came back. That was also in the command phase technically. I think 5 of them came back. Uh, with the stratagem for them. And then over here. This moved up as far as he possibly could. And I think he needs a 6 or a 7 inch charge into these bikes. And he will mow them, mow them down, <laughs> mow them down. All right, so I'm going to uh, have a think about the psychic phase. Uh, obviously, this little screen here has caused me some problems. Morty was stumped by that. He couldn't get past them. But, oh, no, there's three guys in front of me. Hmm. I best just only fly like five inches because I can't get all the way over them into the gap. Great to play. Um, and then I'm going to try and deal with all this stuff on this flank as well. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll be back in a second with some psychic shenanigans. Psychic phase, turn to Death Guard. So I had a little think, and the contagion ability on him to add to the range was the most interesting one. But if I put it onto these Terminators, for example, they're outside of nine of these guys, so they wouldn't actually get the negative toughness this turn, which is a real shame. That would have really been a help. Um, contagion range is currently three. This spell adds six to that, um, to a maximum of 12. Morty's Contagion is always 9, so I'm going to make it 12 uh, this turn because it maxes out. So that's the first power I'm going to do, and I can't remember what it casts on. And a 4 is not enough. I'm not going to use my CP on that, but I have to do Morty's next power now. So he is going to cast um, plus 1 strength, plus 1 toughness onto the Poxwalkers, who are just behind him. And then I'm not going to forget it this time, although I rolled a 3, so that also fails. I got a Malignant Plague Caster here. He gets to cast 2. He's going to put um, uh, minus 1 to hit on Mortarion. On a 4 is a fail. And then he is going to cast Smite, which is going to go into you're not Tom's... Doing your witch power this turn. Yes, I'm going to do that with, the, with Typhus. Okay. Because he's within 6 of the centre. Um, this guy uh, failed his advance roll and, and didn't get far enough forward. Prick. So um, my final power with him is Smite. This is going into uh, Tom's Librarian. Uh, it's a nine. Haha, <laughs> take that, Tom. D3 Mortal Wounds, don't try and deny that. I'm going to deny this. You're not going to deny my, my ritual? No, I'd, I'd rather you not. D3 Mortal Wounds, my dude. That you, I know you're going to splat anyway. I'm going to absolutely murk him. He's standing yeah. one inch away from Mortarian. Yeah, no, yeah, I won't actually. Okay, save it for my ritual. That's why I left the ritual to last, so you <laughs> couldn't. So you couldn't do that. So D3 Mortal Wounds is two, quite reasonable. Um, we'll wound him up in a second, and then the ritual in the center. If I cast this and it doesn't get denied, I will up to seven points on this secondary. I need a three to cast, and I roll the six. So I you are plus one, one to deny because you are close to me as well. Another reason for saving. What did you roll, Tom? I rolled a... Uh, like an 11? Juicy 11. Cool, right, right. Well, uh, that's the <laughs> second opportunity to cast that power. Denied. I'm going to need to keep some wizards alive later on in this game. Or kill your wizard. Yes. And then and then, I, and then I won't be able to... I won't be stopped again after that. Um, oh, that was a pretty shocking psychic phase. <laughs> Missed a lot. I missed a lot. We're going to do some shooting. See you in a sec. Shooting phase. After that dismal psychic phase, I guess we're going to start with Mortarian. And I had a couple of choices. But what he's going to do is throw a Phosphex bomb at these guys. And I'm going to try and clear them. Tom, what are you going to do in response to me targeting your Blade Guard veterans? Transhuman, which I should have done last time. Yeah, you should, probably should have done. Probably should have done it somewhere. Yeah. Um... But on these guys, if he can hold me up here, that's a big deal. 
It's one of the reasons why I'm using the Phosphex bomb first. It's a blast weapon, but it's 2d6 shots. Uh, so six, not bad. Mortarian is, uh, is going to reroll ones to hit because he activates his uh, ability in the beginning of every command phase. I don't say it, but he picks a core or character unit within six, <laughs> which is himself every turn to reroll to hit with. Oh, they all hit anyway, because he is ballistic skill 2+, plus always. This is strength 5, but it wounds on 4s because of transhuman. That is, 4 saves to make it minus 1, 3 plus saves on the blade guard veterans. Did uh, you just roll quads? 3 6s and a 5. 3 6s and a 5. So, um, bits are a problem. Uh, <laughs> You're going to have to slap them. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to have to slap them in combat. i got some more shots to do, but um, also off camera I just fired these guys. They literally did nothing. Um, I am now going to fire the blow drone here down at them if I can see them, um, which I can. So, because I moved up just a touch, six shots from him, hitting on threes, five hits. This is a strength six weapon, but transhuman. Uh, three wounds, and I think it is minus two. So it comes minus one. Minus one because of storm shields, yep. four up saves. Uh, oh, I failed two. Two. I am. I'm literally just checking while we're talking. Well, what it's it, definitely one, guys. It's minus three AP actually. Oh. So. So did you still only fail one? Yeah. No, two. Two. Okay. So um, the first guy who was wounded is dead. dead, and then the second guy takes two wounds, so Sorry. he's down to one. One wound left. I still need to clear it so I can make that charge though. So, well, but what am I going to do? I don't know. I think I'm going to fire this mortar. At the blade gun? Actually, I'm going to fire it at... The wizard? I would have fired And then the I could use gun. the stratagem to hit the blade guard. Um, I need to clear the wizard as well, really. Uh, he's a bigger problem right now. I don't know. Because Typhus could, of course, just charge the blade guard now. Now that I've left a, a, a gap... Um, to get through there, if I can clear that guy. So I'm going to fire the um, the first mortar tank um, into um, the wizard there. And I'm also going to fire the entropy cannons. I want to target the wizard, but I shouldn't. I'm going to target no. the tank. I'm going to try and deal with it with my entropy cannons. No. Um, and then the small arms will probably go into the intercessors. So we'll start with the uh, mortar using the stratagem. Uh, four shots. The strategy makes it damage three and spills damage over. Three hits with the mortar. It's strength eight. It's going to wound his guy okay, oh, and plague weapons. Rerolls. Three wounds with the mortar, which I think is minus two AP on your librarian. Librarians don't have a vulnerable save, so five no. plus. Saved one. Saved one. So he takes six damage. Yes. So he's dead. He's dead. And then on the four plus, the blade guard takes a mortal wound if he's within three. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> I guess he lives to fight another day. Two entropy cannons into Tom's tank while he takes off his casualties. Uh, one hit. Probably probably should have CP'd that. But instead, I'm going to CP that. Still fails. So I spent two CP this turn. And um, I'll fire the stubble while I'm here. Why not? So I don't forget. This is into the intercessors. I rolled really well on this. I rolled incredibly well. Okay. Um, three saves to make on the... Uh, intercessors, they're wound, they've got a white guy who's wounded, so I targeted them. It's minus one. Uh, so one fail. Fail. So yeah. just one dude deaded. And then um, this tanky tank here. Hmm. Hmm. I can't target Curon, even though he's the closest over there, because these bikers are technically closer. So I'm going to fire my entropy cannons at the bikers, because I can see them. And I'm going to lob my mortars into... Oh, I don't know. The Eradicators! <laughs> Why not? So this is only damage two into the Eradicators, but that's okay. D6 shots from this one. One shot. I've already spent my CP, that was daft, wasn't it? Hits you though. Wounds you though. Minus two in cover on the Eradicators, so they get a... One wound or two? This one. Six saves. Saves. Um, two entropy cannons into the bikers. Two hits. Three to wound the bikers. One wound on the bikers. Uh, it's minus four. I don't know why I let you roll that. Yeah. Uh, it's D3 plus three, so the guy who's taken two wounds dies. Uh, there's two left there. 
Still the same charge distance there, which is interesting. And that, I think, is the end, end of, of my shooting. shooting phase. The wizard here's only got a pistol, and Typhus's hive ability got moved to the command phase, so it never comes up anymore. It used to be a pistol, now it's a command phase six inch ability. We have some charges to do in a moment, as you might have guessed. We will come back in one second. Charge phase, turn two, death guard turn. Going to start by charging Typhus into that last blade guard on one wound. I haven't even measured it. It is so important, I didn't even bother measuring it. I rolled a four. Are that you... no. is a fail. <laughs> Am I going to CP that? I've got seven left. Um, then Morty won't be CPing anything. Rut row. Um, and he Does needs Morty a much need bigger charge. He CP anything. He is a Primark. He doesn't get reroll charges, though. He's got though, daddy issues, but. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to go all in. So Typhus is going to reroll that. Why not? Tom can't come get the middle now, really, without going into my uh, heroic intervention range anyway. So. Um, so let's go all out. Typhus, charge. A five. We actually now need to measure that, Tom. Yeah, I don't think a five is suffice of enough either. Am I within six inches of the target model? Uh, I am. So a five inch charge does in fact make it. A four was out by like half an inch. And I assume my base fits. Yes, it does. <laughs> there we go. Typhus will now charge. Ooh, I could charge Huron but I'd have to declare Huron and the Intercessors. He's on four wounds. Otherwise he'll just heroic into me. Oh no, he might not heroic into me because then I'd be allowed to fight him. So yeah. I'm just gonna go into the obsec and clear the troops because uh, Morty's a coward like that. Five. That is a fail. I think. I'm not within six, right? No way. No, uh, you're measure for my nine. base, dude. <laughs> well, you're within eight. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. that is out, but it's close. Then over here with these Death Guard Terminators, I know it's exactly nine to these guys. Are they rolled an eight? That's a fail. Um, and then the Blight Hauler over here, he needs like a six or a seven. And I roll a nine. Can you push my lawnmower guy, Tom, just into that biker? He got a nine. Um, and then just right around this side. Because he got a nice long way. There we go. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So Mortarian is just now camping the middle on full wounds. Um, Typhus is going to deal with this one blade guard. I have obsec on the center. I have models on this objective who aren't obsec. So that's going to probably draw out the intercessors. But we will see what happens with Typhus in a moment uh, in the combat phase. Combat phase. Typhus fighting first. He charged. He just piled in. Um, the blade guard only has one wound left, so I'm using a sweep attack. So 12 attacks. He hits on twos in combat. No rerolls, even though Morty's like literally right there. He wounds on threes because it's strength five. That's why transhuman wasn't used. And I reroll ones actually. Um, oh, they still failed. Hilarious. Tom, I need you to take eight armor saves of a four plus on the remaining blade guard veteran. Um, or otherwise he's dead. He's got this. Eight four pluses. He's got this. No problem at all. E Z. Oh, he's dead. Screws it. <laughs> oh no, he accidentally died. And then um, Typhus gets to consolidate. I'll just push him forward a little bit. Yep. Why not? And then that's wound counter. It's not for Typhus. <laughs> that's for the dead guy who died. That is the end of my turn. Okay, Question. Oh, we got we got a little bit of combat to do over there. But um, scoring up points. Um, I suppose we should do that combat, actually, because yes. it's a flesh bow. We'll be back in one second. So, we forgot this combat, and that meant Tom could interrupt. So he did. And he did one wound to my drone out of spite. <laughs> but now it's my opportunity to fight back. That's my bad for forgetting that. I should have done that first. He probably wouldn't have, have interrupted with the blade guard. Um, maybe he would. I don't know. I but um, flesh mowers get 12 attacks. Oh, awesome. And they hit in combat on threes. Oh, even better. I've got to roll them all in the tray. There we go. Ah, oh, just knocked one, I think. I wasn't paying enough attention, though. And then this is strength. User plus one, so seven. The wound bikes on threes. We're rolling ones because it is a plague weapon. There is some goo on it. 
Then, Tom, I need you to take seven saves at minus two and two damage. So don't fail three of the too many of them. Yeah. <laughs> this could be the squad. Let's have a look. That is, in fact, the squad. Two damage apiece, three wounds on a bike, so only need to get four through to kill the biker there. Took a wound in retaliation, though. That was my error for forgetting that. One of the other things we forgot here was this banner. Yes. Now, we moved it so it was within, made sure it was within six of the, the guys who died yes. here. So first of all, one guy died in my shooting, shooting who could have fired a pistol on a four plus. Yep. Yep. So who would you want to fire at? Because uh, he hit him, yeah. whoever. Uh, Typhus. So he was shooting Typhus with the pistol. I think Typhus is probably back here. Yeah. Probably out of target range. So it has to be Morty. Or the poxies. I'll take a pox walk. Cool. Then. So then you wound a poxy on a three. Yeah. And I get a six up, feel no pain. Yeah. Uh, and then that's just a box walker killed from that. Yes. The more interesting one, though, of course, was he died in combat within six of the banner. So on a four plus, he gets to do fight. No. no. So that's the one that mattered. He got one swing in against Typhus. That would have probably done a lot more damage than a heavy bolt pistol. Um, and that is the end of the turn. Now I'm going to wrap up some scores. Yes. I'm standing on um, more than half the objectives, uh, or at least half the objectives for three points. I uh, didn't do my Psychic Ritual, so that's still only at three points. And I'm still holding my priority objective. So I get six more points this turn on top of my my score. So it's looking like it's sliding in my favour, 25 to 8. But Tom scores primary next. He scores five points at the beginning of his turn. So it's not as desperately uh, in favour of the Death Guard as you might think. But it is looking difficult with Morty right in the centre. We'll be back in a second with Tom's turn two. I'm doing some more filming for Tom because we're about to go straight into his shooting phase. But yes. first, command phase, you gained a CP. I did, so I gave back up to five. Did you put anyone back into the Devastator Doctrine for their extra AP? I have. So that's two command points, I think, to put him into do? Yes. Sir. Into all the Doctrines? Into all of them, so all his weapons do funky stuff. All the best APs. Yes. Um, you take the count as having stood still for all of your movement purposes. So assault weapons that advanced, no penalties this turn. Nope. Um, and you can move and fire with heavy weapons, but some of those stood still. Last fuse will stood where they were. Obsec got onto the objective with the intention of dealing with these guys. Mm -hmm. Assault Marines jumped over the crate pile to here. They've got a charge on the pox walkers so they don't die to shooting. They've got a really good charge on the uh, the wizard there yes, is... Yes, because I do get my plus one to charge, so, so it's only an eight-inch charge. Only an eight-inch charge onto, the, onto those guys if you clear the poxwalkers, and then I'll have no obsec there, and yep. you'll have five models there. Um, your strategy for dealing with these two guys was move the Dreadnought up into, like, one inch away from this guy yep. in case you need to stand on his face. Um, other movement, some marines move back into this building where they've got line of sight on this drone, do some damage. Like two characters as two well. Two characters there that are buffing them and themselves are going to fire at him and then probably charge him if he doesn't die. Yes. You do have to clear him. Staying on this objective, holding it, and we've already looked at this tank. He moved up into the building so it could see these terminators if it needs to. Melter stayed where they were in great range of everything here. They're now AP5, <laughs> but you lost your um, null zone, so that doesn't matter. All right, one second. Shooting phase coming up. And we've come right back with the shooting phase. Okay, so after a lot of deliberation and chatting, I'm going to start with the melters into Typhus. Because if I obliterate Typhus, I can either finish them off with the melter underneath the size of my hand if I have to, or then they can go into Morty and he can try and hurt Morty a little bit. Damage five, seismic hammer. Could do some work against Mortarian. Yep. If I, you're able to clear Typhus, otherwise you're going to Typhus. He's famed for taking down Imperial Knights by himself in one round of combat, so he might come back to do some justice. The tank, at the moment, I haven't picked a target for it because there is a lot of theory crafted depending on what happens. With these first Melters. Yeah, guys. so we're going to start with the Melters. So it is four shots. Because you're firing all at the same target. Yep. So they get to shoot twice. Oh. The whole building just moved. Um, As you earthquake hit me with all four shots. And then... It's only three to wound, the little guy. He's only yep. toughness five. They all wound. They all wound. So it's four, four up in vulnerable save to make on Typhus. Oh, um, well, I failed three of them. Okay. Well, I'm going to take D6 damage 
Am I within half range, Tom? Just double check. I don't think I am. Um, you are within. It's 12. diagonal, so I think it's just out because it's diagonally. Uh, uh, Thirteen inches. So just out of half range with the melters. They're twenty-four, aren't they? Uh, this uh, thing was a multi melter. I'm like ninety-nine percent sure about that. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the same bracket as you with that. Uh, it's always worth checking though um, if you're not sure. Eradicate uh, melter rifle is 24. So just over minutes. half, <laughs> just over half because of the elevation of yeah. the building. Um, and Typhus has six wounds. It is minus one to these damage rolls though. Do I want to CP at this stage? I kind of wanted to save my, kind of wanted to save my CP for a Mortarian save, <laughs> um, which I think we still will do. So I won't. I could roll horrifically. Yep, that's true. You could. 3d6 damage, minus one on each one. So that's one. one. And that's five, five. so he's dead. <laughs> and that's another one, so yeah. that's seven, so he's dead. Nice. I'm just going to check real quick. Does more, <laughs> does Typhus explode? Um, does he bloat up and blow up? Because I'm pretty sure he does. Um, or is it just Morty that decides? No, he doesn't explode. I could explode him for a CP, but I don't think it's worth it. It'll just hit the Dreadnought and nothing else. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Um, Typhus is killed. Maybe I should have CP'd one of those. <laughs> cool. So what's next, Tom? I'm actually going to do the Melter off uh, the Dreadnought into Morty and the Hurricane Bolter into the Poxwalkers. Okay, well, we'll roll the Melter gun and then we'll do some Pox yeah. Poxwalkers shooting off camera. Blessed Skull 3 Plus, I assume? Yes. So, so fails. it fails. We'll be back in a second after some small arms fire. All right. So uh, after a bit of like mopping up little bits of shooting, uh, because we got rid of Typhus, he got absolutely whacked. And then I fired the mult um, the multi melter, the into hurricane bolter into the Pox Walkers. Pox Walkers, and actually only killed one. Yeah, but lots more firepower went into them. Yeah. I do the uh, pistols um, from here in the flamer. Yes, and the Castellan launcher and some more assault um, fire so that we could yep. just try and. Mop so down them. to four. Um, uh, four guys. Obsec here now. Yeah. So the uh, the Raptors need to do some work. Sorry, the assault Sorry. marines need to do some work <laughs> there. Uh, these guys did they literally do n nothing? Nothing. Yeah. They did nothing to these terminators. No. Um, in the building here, where Huron had chapter mastered these guys, yeah. uh, they managed to do three wounds, three wounds over here. Whereas the lieutenant and uh, Huron himself did nothing. nothing. Yeah. Um, there's only five wounds left on that guy now. So when you charge me, that'll hopefully be good. We've got a tank to go yeah, and tank. the last fusels. So we've decided that everything, because I've paid the CP to make this amazing. Oh, well, slightly better. Is it, oh, okay. Yeah, slightly better. We're getting I, I old school iron hands. Yeah, like uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's the best tank in the world. Yeah, Morty. Because um, I might hurt him. Might and I, him. I, I don't have the minus one to hit this turn, so this is probably no. your best opportunity to yes. bring him down, right? Like, so I'm going to go you... with... Yeah, and then we're going to do the last fuselage into your... One I, got a, I got a tank over here that's standing yeah, around. So I'll start with that because I've got three dice in Actually, hand. actually, if it... Uh, do those second. If yeah. Morty's left with not very many wounds, put the last fuselage into oh, him. Yeah, I could. They have three um, damage apiece. Yeah, and we, um, well, two damage. And it really, what you want to do is you want to weaken him so that the, uh, the Dreadnought can one-shot him. Yes. So let's start with the big cannon. Is that right? Yes, big cannon. Two shots. Hit, hit on, on twos. twos. Yep. Both hit. What strength is it? It's shrink 12. Shrink 12 wounds Mortarian on threes. Both wounds. Both wounds. It is minus five. <laughs> so four up vulnerable save. Good, sir. Uh, pass one. one fail. Uh, that's why I saved the CP this turn. Do I roll that? Nope. Okay, I guess it still goes through. What damage is that weapon, Tom? Uh, that's D3 plus 3. So 5 damage because of the minus 1. Yep. Uh, so Mortarian is now on 13 wounds remaining. Nice, that's a good start. And then we're going to do Heavy Bolters. Because it's always fun. <laughs> yes. So 6 shots, hitting on 3s. So don't get the extra. Only one miss. Cool. It's a good start. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm wounding you because I'm just going to strength 6 and your toughness 8, so it'll be 5. Everything's going to wound me on 5s or 6s yeah. now. Uh, so that's 2 at minus 2. 2 damage a piece. Well, uh, 1 damage a piece, right? Yeah, 1 damage a piece because you're. 2 saves good. to make, um, and they both pass. That's my invun, that's good enough. It's good enough for me. 
good enough uh, for me. Heavy it's good stubbers. for you. 12 shots. Yep. Also, hitting on threes. Oh, there are some ones and twos in that one. I'm not sure, sure what's with all these oohs, Tom. It's more daring. He's going to strike all of this. No problem at all. Uh, because I, of course, already forgot that the five wounds he already took, he gets a feel no pain, a DPR save against. Yep. So five up save against the five wounds he took. Uh, Can't change the past. <laughs> uh, I'll remember it in future, though. Five to wound. Uh, that is, is this the stubbers? Yes. Six is to win with the stubbers. They're only strength four, aren't they, Tom? Yes, they are. So two. Yeah. But they are minus two. All right, four up saves on these two saves. Five up feel no pain on the one that I failed. It's all right, he's only lost five wounds so far. <laughs> uh, then we have got, what are we going with next? The onslaught, so that's another 12. Yes, we are just bringing the onslaught. Dude, if you can, if you can put him in, in range of the seismic hammer killing him, then I've played this game terribly, <laughs> and you deserve to kill him and you deserve to win. I put, I put so many eggs in my basket down the middle that uh, if Morty dies now, then I just used him wrong, right? Like I just didn't... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is... Um, it's a strength six, so you need fives with this bad boy. Yep, so that's another three. Uh, another three invulnerables. Two. Uh, two fails. And what damage is an onslaught? One. One, <laughs> yeah. Uh, becomes one after my, my thing. Feel no pains, two more damage. I am down to 11. Getting there. We are getting there. So we have now got an Icarus rocket pod. <laughs> right. Is that D3 shots, Tom? It is. Okay. Clear some of my dice out of there. One. One shot. Pretty standard. Misses. Yep. And then I have. What have I got left? Uh, the Storm Bolters. Um, you aren't in rapid fire range, unfortunately. No, so it is only. Oh, but you do count as having stood still? Yes. So, do you used to get both a discipline then, or did vehicles lose it? I've forgotten. Uh, I believe I've lost it. Yeah, vehicles don't get both yeah, so a discipline anymore. Two, it's uh, just two bolters, so yeah, it's four so shots. shots. Uh, two hits. Yep. No wounds. No, you need sixes on that bad yeah. boy. Um, have you got a heavy bolter left, or have you already done that? Already done heavy bolter. So that's oh. everything from him. Yep. Um, so I am going to throw the last fusiliers into him. Yeah, if you get one or two of these through, then I really do think that the... Seismic hammer could do this. Ooh, That's only one hit well, though, Tom. CP. Oh, a hit roll. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, two, two. hits. Okay. Last nice users, are they strength eight or strength nine? Strength eight. Only strength eight, so four is to win Morty. Oh. oh, that is that is a real disappointment. Ah, still. Still, okay. Um, it's not the end of the world. Do you have any shooting left, Tom? Uh, no, that is everything. Everything so done. will be charges next. Charges next. We'll be back with charges and some combat in a moment. Charge phase for the... Uh, Astral Claws. The good guys, air quotes this time. We <laughs> did a couple off camera, the twos and three inch charges yes. here. These guys made it in. Um, only rolled a three, but still was in range. Plenty of room. Yeah. Um, so we've got some important charges to do. We've got an almost unfailable here. Do you want to do this one first? Yes. Just in case you need to CP this. Six, that makes it into Morty. Yeah. Um, you can base me. The and one that's gonna, that's gonna deny me a bunch of points though, these guys into the eight. Poxwalkers. Yeah, into the Poxwalkers. Now, I don't think they even need an eight. They needed an eight to get to this guy with their yeah, plus one. Probably need. A much lower than that, like well, maybe a five. That is an eight. That is an eight. So these Raptors are gonna easily make it to the Poxwalkers. If they clear all of them, then they're gonna uh, snag these objectives back from me. Morty can't heroic into them because he's in combat now. So that's a big deal. That's yes. a lot of the strategy for the turn there. We'll be back in a moment with some combat. Charge is complete. These guys moved in here, made sure they stayed out of heroic intervention range of the wizard. Put one model onto Morty's objective and at least three under this one, which means that as long as you clear those pox walkers, you're gonna deny me both of those objectives um, in my turn for primary, which is a yeah. huge deal. Really but struggling on primary. I'm gonna start, because you have enough CP to interrupt. Oh yeah. And I don't want my dreadnought to get slapped. Your dreadnought's going to get slapped back. He's going to get slapped back anyway, unless I get really lucky. Mm -hmm. I don't want Morty to slap and then, you know. Yeah, of course. So you're going to fight first with the seismic hammer. We've yeah. been hyping this up. We've been talking about <laughs> it. This bad boy is five damage, but it only hits on fours. And you get a whopping five attacks with it. 
Um, but I've still got two CP, so I still re-roll hit. Oh, I can't yeah. believe you're down to two CP, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, Gives up the three next to... Of course it does. Alright, so... So we're going to start with him. Yes. Five attacks. Five attacks. try over here so we can rule it together. Oh, dude, Tom. Uh, an absolute whiff city. I'm going to CP1. You're going to CP1. You're going to try and reconcile. No. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. What strength is it, Tom? Uh, it does make him strength 16. Strength 16 is two to wound. This is why we were hyping this yeah. bad boy up. It wounds. Um, I do still get my invulnerable saves, though. Oh man, what an absolute disappointment. It goes through. Do I CP it to stop myself from taking four damage? I think I do. Oh, I oh. still fail. Lose my CP. Um, so I take four damage from a strength fan. That does bracket you. There's a damage five weapon. It goes down to four, and I get my DPR, oh, yeah. my damage prevention roll. My five up. Nope. No. No. <laughs> so I go down to seven. Seven wounds. Seven wounds remaining. Uh, that puts me in middle bracket. That it might matter. Now I only get six attacks instead of seven, Tom. Ooh. Um, but I'm not going to interrupt, which means it's time to do the raptors. We'll yes. do the raptors off camera. There's only pox walkers. We'll do them off camera, and then we'll come back when Morty kicks <laughs> out of you. <laughs> back in a second. All right. Uh, so um, because Tom fought with the uh, dreadnought first, that allowed me to interrupt with my bloat drone. Because yes. I forgot that, and we did the assault marines first. But... Um, pretend these Sultanwings haven't fought yet. We're going to start with a bloke drone. He is still an absolute sledgehammer in combat. He's going to go after your... Um, your one's got like a power fist, right? Or a lightning claw? Lightning claw. But it's like a special relic lightning ghost. It's called Ghost. <laughs> of course it's called Ghost. Yes. It, That's a great name. It ghosts you, as it um, does stuff. So I'm going to get 12 attacks with the um, mower, and they're all going to go into him. Yeah. Why not, right? Four plus in run, so... Uh, cool, 11 hits. Cool, I'm toughness 4. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm strength... Um, a lot. Moa, um, 7, so 3 is actually quite important. 1s are plague weapons to reroll though, this one fails. And that one fails as well. So just roll these saves from the time. Yeah. I don't know how many it is, I didn't even bother counting. 4 plus in runs, uh, that's 4 fails. And you used your CP for the turn, so he takes yep. eight damage. He does, but I just need to quickly check something, so we'll be back in just a second. Um, Euron died. Yep. But at the end of the phase, this is the rule we were checking, uh, he stands back up on a four plus at the end of the phase. Yes. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Then you fought with your lieutenant, and you did nothing. Nope. Damage two would only be damage one against me anyway, but that's okay, because that brings us into the main course, which is Mortarion into the Dreadnought. Yes. I better kill you now, right? Well, I'm, I'm bracketed, so you have as eight, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm bra bracketed. I'm hitting you with my main weapon. Um, I reroll ones because I picked myself. <laughs> Still only five. Um, this bad boy is times two straight, so twos. Rerolling ones. They all wound. You don't have an invulnerable save. No. You don't have a two up armor save either, do you? No. Okay, so it's um, this many d3 plus fifteen damage. Let's just assume that that is. Uh, 24 damage and your yeah. dreadnought is dead. Do you explode, Tom? It's a little one, cheeky one. Damn it. Doesn't explode, doesn't do any more damage. That's what Mortarian is meant to do. <laughs> cool. So we will tot up the scores in a second and come back with uh, turn four? Turn three, dude. Turn three. Cool. A lot has happened in two turns. Jeez. Cool. So we'll see you guys in a second. Score wrap up for the end of turn two. Space Marines, the good guys, and uh, Euron did stand back up. Tom refused to film it. He just rolled it hastily. He rolled the four. I think it's still there. Yeah. And uh, Euron stood back up at the end of the phase. Um, but then we're going to do scores, and this is really interesting because Tom managed to get only two on engagement fronts. These guys are too close to the center to get this final table quarter, but they're close to getting all four table quarters. Two points on that. He got. Uh, Oath of Moments, he's got a unit holding within six of the center. He didn't fall back or fail a morale check this turn. And he killed a character vehicle or monster. He killed Typhus. So he got max points on that for the turn for four. He's got seven on that. It's only eight to go, and he's still got three more turns. Priority targets, he's holding his priority target and mine. So he gets five points on that. So he can now afford to maybe slip up and miss a couple of those, or miss one of those now. Careful, Tom. Making a noise in the background there. So we've got the scores here and including the primaries, it's 25 to 24 going into my turn three. 
and I'm only going to score five points on the primary um, at the beginning of my turn. So in a moment, we're going to come back with my turn three movement, but I'm looking real thin on the ground. I've got these poxwalkers to pounce. They'll hopefully be able to take back the center, but if I don't deal with some of these auto bolters, I'm just going to lose more and more and more. Um, right, we'll be back in a second. Morty's half dead. It's looking pretty sticky. We still haven't moved this dreadnought, but he is dead. And you're on his back. And that is super exciting. <laughs> You're back in a moment. Tom, it is Death Guard turn three. It is. And we found a mental first two turns. This is insane. So, uh, command phase. Wait for the card to go past. Command phase, I brought back some Poxwalkers. And I gained a command point, which I immediately spent on that stratagem. And then realized it was two Poxwalkers. <laughs> yeah, it was only two Poxwalkers. That was probably an error, but I got a bit more movement. I've also done the movement phase, so they advanced up there. Uh, these Terminators got right in here, they can fire up at the last fusels, deal with them, and then charge these guys, clear them off. This has come to support them, he can deal with the last fusels as well, or if they're all dead, then he can go into the um, Eradicators that are up here. Uh, I had a long think about who was going to do my ritual, I need to do it twice more, and I've only got three more opportunities to do it. So if I don't do it soon, and then one of these guys dies, then it's, I'm going to really struggle. So Morty stayed within six of the centre to do the ritual because I think his psychic powers do more damage, including giving him minus one to hit while doing damage, and then doing damage, which also might do some damage. And you also moved the crawler. Move, that move the tank, just so that he's within three of this guy. Yes. So just, I can't snipe him with the... <laughs> yeah, just, just so that you can't fire at him. Uh, moving up, up three, as long as something else is closer than him, you can't fire at him. That includes Morty. The drone here is interesting. It stayed in combat with the lieutenant, Huron drops out of combat when he dies. He returned with one wound, because Tom rolled one on his D3, um, <laughs> but isn't in combat, so I can't fight him again. So the drone will just have to go into the lieutenant, and then I'll just be stood there, and then presumably Huron could shoot and charge me again. But I have a tank who can't see anything else, so he's probably just going to fire at Huron and kill him with two entropy cannons. You've got a 4 of bundle save. We'll see how that goes. Um, psychic phase coming up after that insane movement phase. Obviously, Morty could have gone much further, but I need that ritual. I need it. I need it. There are some guys in here that he needs to kill. He can shoot the tank and do some damage. We'll see what happens in a minute with the psychic phase. So, um, we're into the psychic phase, and I once again remembered that I haven't really been using my contagions. The contagion range is now up to six. It's nine from Morty. Uh, that's minus one toughness within that range. Don't think it's mattered to this point. Um, things obviously like this, where I just get wiped. Um, it didn't apply. Things like the Dreadnought in combat didn't apply. There was no toughness there. Um, the mower was already wounding on twos. Um, and then I just haven't been close enough otherwise, but now I am. So these guys are going to be lower toughness. Um, I'll double check to them in a minute. It's probably not within six. Um, but we're getting close to me being able to contagion everything. Morty is now giving out an aura nine um, it's going to affect like these guys who are in this building, stop them from getting the uh, benefits of rerolls. We're going to start the psychic phase with Mortarian. He's going to psychic ritual. He needs a three. Don't fail. He casts on a seven. That's his only power for the turn. That gets me four victory points there, which is a pretty big deal. Tom's wizard is now dead, so he can't deny anymore. And then we're going to do uh, this guy. He's going to give Mortarian minus one to hit within range 18. If I roll a seven plus, I do a mortal wound. I rolled a six. Oh. Um, seat, 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 CP. I'm down to three. <laughs> I need a seven. Oh, shit. Wait, did I already, did I actually successfully cast it and then CP it so I failed? Yeah. Well, I'm a moron. <laughs> In my head, I needed the seven to cast it it's and to do the damage, range. and to do the damage. But it's Miasma of Pestilence, which is only a six. I was thinking of Progressive Vitality, which is a 7. That was dumb. A CP lost and a Psychic Power lost to try and do Mortal Wounds. Let's um, smite these guys. Let's, um, I wrote a 5. Okay. D3 Mortal Wounds, now extras, 1 damage. Cool, well, one of these guys is dead. That's my second uh, oh huge... Oh, no, I have two wounds. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. You have one wound to these guys. I was thinking they're baby marines. Uh, <laughs> well, they are baby marines. They're but just... now they, they get two wounds still, so... Uh, that was a huge whiff of a psychic phase. My wizard is now being hung out to dry here. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. We will be back with the shooting phase in a moment. Oh, I cannot believe that. It's so stupid. What was I thinking? <sighs> oh, so dumb. Shooting phase. 
after that dismal psychic phase. We've done some small arms fire. Uh, you did one wound. I've done a wound to these guys. And I've done two wounds to these yeah. guys. So now we can do Mortarian. He's going to fire his special magic pistol at the tank. And he's going to hit you on a two still, even though he's bracketed. He hits your tank. He draws a straight line. Hits everything under it. Oh, it's just the tank, isn't it? And he wounds you. And let me just check the AP, because I think it's three. So Mortarian's pistol, the lantern, is minus three. Um, so six up save. Nope. Three damage. And it has an absolute wall of text that says, uh, draw a straight line. It's insane. Mm -hmm. uh, how much damage that, how much, how much writing that is to do that. So um, down to seven. Hmm. Okay. Um, maybe a grenade would have been better. Who knows? I am bracketed, though. Yes, that is important. You are now bracketed. Over here, this guy's going to throw a grenade at them. Three shots. And one hit. And one wound. So, armor save on those marines. Okay, that, that's a pass. So, now we will do this tank. The tank is going to fire his entropy cannons at your tank down the field. He's going to fire his mortar at these marines, because I have to kill them. Um, and... Um, yeah, and then the, the heavy stubber into them as well. Heavy slugger. I'll do that first, because you've got a wounded guy. Um, okay, one hit. Uh, uh, first wound. Okay. So we'll do the mortar, and we will use the... Stratagem? There's no point using the stratagem, because it's damage two, which is good enough already. And there's no one within three to get the extra mortals, so no point doing that. Just d6 shots. Oh, one shot. I hate you, though. Okay, so back with the uh, shooting phase again. We just had a little uh, technical fault there with uh, the camera setup. We finished firing the mortar and the uh, slugger. I hope that clip's saved. Uh, but now we've got the entropy cannons. We're firing them downfield at the uh, tank. So uh, two shots. Um, one hit, one miss. Um, I'm going to not see... Oh, i got seven wounds left. I could kill you with this. So CP, hit roll. Two hits. Okay. I don't normally uh, CP hit rolls, but I have been with this because <laughs> I wound on fours, which is much, much, much worse. Uh, two wounds, though, and it's no save, Tom. This was an amazing decision. I can't believe I did this. 2d3 plus six damage, and you've got seven left. So I do nine. Does your tank explode? That was oh, amazing. That is Ooh. a four. I saw a six then. I saw it. I did spinning on, and that would have wiped out my eradicator at the same time. I think maybe it would. That's a pretty big tank, isn't it? Yeah. That um, is a pretty big swing, getting those two entry cannon shots into work. We're going to do um, this tank next. Entry cannons and machine guns into Euron. Mortar into these guys. These guys have to die, and I have not done enough damage to them. <laughs> I thought my mortal wound phase was going to be like seven, eight mortal wounds. I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I thought in my head. Zero. Entropy cannons into Euron. Two hits. Oh my god. Forced to wound. Um, no, well, I guess like twos to wound him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two wounds on Euron. Invulnerable saves to make. That's a pass and a fail. It's D3 damage plus three. How many CP you've got left, Tom? I have two. Two. Um, at this point, is there anything else you want to do with your CP? No. I mean, this is this is looking like. I keep Euron alive. That really. That'll be it, right? No. Nope. Okay, still a fail? Okay. Yeah. Right, well, he dies. Um, he can't come back from death a second time. Um, it'd be interesting to know if he could use, like, fight on death stratagem from the Marine book yeah, and then come cool. back in the same phase. If, if, I'm guessing if I'd moved the guy with the banner, maybe? Well, no, then he could just... Was, was he within six of the banner guy when he died? No. Uh, okay, well, then, when he, that happens, he only has to fight with one attack. Yeah. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. It's better, much better for shooting. It allows you to fire a whole gun. Um, big flamer. Yeah, what, against a guy who's in combat? Yeah. So you can't target him. <laughs> and no one else within range, not even close. No. So um, that is that. D, six shots from the mortar. Six. Oh, it's the first mortar six we've had. Six dice. Attack dice. Hitting on threes. Oh, I can't believe they got this. It's kill three plus. So good. Wounding basic marines on twos with plague. Uh, these guys here need to take uh, five up saves. Oh, guy. <laughs> How many? Five. Five five ups. Um, that 
the first one you fail is the wounded guy, this yep. wound here, yep. and then three more die. Yeah. So there is one dude left, presumably the Lightning Claw Sergeant, yes. I, I hope. He might do some wickedy wackedy woo. Get rid of these get rid of these lovely metal models. Can't the manhandle them too hard. Yeah. Alright, and then we will come back. Um I think there might be a sneaky bit of charging to do. We've got some charges here, we've got some charges there. We'll be back in a second with the charge phase. Okay, so charge phase. I had a little think here. There's obviously the Marines in here that I want to kill. But there's two Marines there on the priority objective. And if I go and kill them and stand on that objective, then he can't come get it back off me because of heroic intervention range. Yes. So I'm going to go into them, and I need a seven. Doing this first because I got CP just in case. It's a four. Oh my god, that would have made it to the other unit. CP, I'm down to one. Okay, I need a seven. I need a seven. I need a seven. Lucky Nurgle's number. It's a nine. Mortarian makes it in. Okay. Oh, Mikey, you're killing me with your sixes. Yeah, fucking, fucking yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I'll pick him up by his wings. Uh, that is uh, risky. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess other... you want to, do you want to just be on the point or do you want to go centre of the point? Um, I'll, I'll pile it in, in a second. So I'll move him around. A nine's a really good movement. I'm probably going to stand basically right in the centre of the objective. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to charge here into this last uh, marine. Yeah. Um, I you passed. A nine. That's... Going to move to here. <laughs> I can't believe these two objectives are within a 40 mil base of each other. And I'm in within combat range of you there. <laughs> So that actually puts me on the center, hilariously. Here, oh, these guys are gonna charge these guys. Oh, no way. Oh, they need like a one. Oh, they rolled a, an eight. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> you won't be falling back with these guys. Um, I do need to wipe the squad though to take this objective from you, which is why I was like worrying about the center. Um, I don't think it matters, but the wipe these did not let you get this objective and that will swing the game back. If I kill them, and somehow these guys. That is probably game over. I'm going to charge with the bloat drone. I'm going to make sure I leave myself enough space there. And then I'm just going to charge with the bloat drone. I have to roll dice though. Hold on. Three. Well, that's a fail. So. so I guess he doesn't go into that little gap I made for him. Oh well. Poxwalkers here advance so they can't charge. Um, and the bloat drone's in combat so he gets punched first by the lieutenant. I think I can do about that. But... Uh, Think. Proven from last time, it won't really tickle you. No, it probably won't do anything as a power sword does one damage, <laughs> if you're lucky. Um, right, we'll, we'll come back with some combat um, in a moment. Combat phase. Tom couldn't interrupt, so I just did some uh, fighting around the board. I'll show you in a second. But this is Mortarian fighting uh, these two guys. Uh, so I get to reroll that because he always picks himself. And then he kills them on twos. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, those two intercessors are dead. That? Sorry? How many minus is that? Oh, I didn't even check. I mean, it's probably minus, like, four. Probably. Which is enough to stop you from getting a save. Uh, yeah, minus four, so no oh, save. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not even a six up. Um, the other fighting we did off camera, uh, Flail killed three guys here, everyone else killed one more. Trapped this guy. He does technically have obsec. He is on the objective. Oh well. Uh, here, this guy did uh, four attacks. Uh, he wounded, he hit once, he wounded once, he did two damage with his uh, D3 weapon. Oh, my depth perception. What am I doing? This guy. Brrr, moves close to the enemy, which is probably this guy over here. Brrr, there we go. Um, uh, the interesting thing about him was when I had that terrible turn with the psychic powers, I meant to throw his relic grenade, which I brought, um, which is seven dice, four pluses do mortal wounds. That's why I thought I was going to do so much more damage than I did, and I only did one wound. Next thing in the combat phase, we're just going to fight with the lieutenant here, and then my plague mower will kill you. We'll do the lieutenant off camera in a second. We'll just see if I can murderize you real quick. Uh, before that, uh, that's a bunch of hits. That's an extraordinary number of sixes as well. And rolling again. Oh, there we go. You don't have an invulnerable save, right? I have the shield. You have a shield. So you need to take three, six, eight... No, that's only seven. Seven saves on that guy, please. Four plus invun. Uh, no, it's not an invun shield, is it? On it's not an invun. Yeah, it is. It's a relic shield, dude. Relic shield. Yeah. So, is that, how many was it, sir? Seven. Seven. I think you have five wounds, so you might live through this if you're lucky. Uh, you failed four, so you take eight damage and die. Yeah. Even if you CP one of those, you're dead. We'll just do his sword off camera if he technically fought first. And uh, then we will come back... Um, we will quickly do Tom's turn. 
And we'll quickly do Tom's turn three, and then we will call it a day. Morale phase and score wrap up for the end of the turn. This guy needs to roll a morale check. Uh, on a six, he runs away. Nope. No, he doesn't. He lives to fight another day. Ha-ha. That's <laughs> that's him stuck in combat, though. He could. But score. I can't fall back. So that's can't, an oath of moment. can't fall back. He does score. He does. Tom continues to score oath of moment points no matter what he does. Um, it's such a good. Uh, um, secondary objectives for me. I scored my ritual. That's another four points. I scored my stranglehold. That's another three points. And priority of targets, of course. I took both. Great call going in there. Yes. Had to use a CB for the reroll, but made it. Got that, um, putting me very long way in the lead. Going into Tom's turn, um, I'm up 42 to 29, and Tom has very few assets left. I mean, these guys, these guys, yeah. this one guy, and then these, what, six dudes in the building? Yeah. So, oh, no, four dudes, five if you can. We're going to do a little move. We're going to come back with some shooting and see if Tom can bring down Mortarion and take us some sort of. Uh, uh, another of moment. <laughs> another, yeah, another, another vehicle character or monster, yes. Um, but also the uh, uh, moral victory, if you can bring down uh, the tank. He's also got, got his tank in the background there too. Yeah. Um, but that can't go anywhere near Mortarion or it will die. Um, we will be back in a moment with some shooting and then uh, a valiant final charge and we'll see what happens in Tom's turn three. Okay, so it is uh, <laughs> the shooting phase for turn three the good guys, the Space Marines. Um, and like we said, we've just moved everyone up so that they can get into range of Morty. There's moral, vi moral victory. I have seven wounds remaining on Mortarian. Yep, uh, Sarah's come close enough to my whirlwind that I'm activating my trap card. I do have a uh, hunter killer missile on it. <laughs> so he's gonna fire that into, my, into Morty along with the Castellan launcher. We've got yep. some melters, we've got some last fusels. So what are we starting with, Tom? Uh, we'll start with last fusels also because they're the furthest away. Furthest away, okay. So three shots. Yep. One hit. These guys have been consistently tackled <laughs> these last three turns. Probably not a great showing. No. Um, no wounds from the last few souls. We got two shots from the Melter, now within half range. Yep. Two hits is much more like it. You need force to wound me, sir. One. Ooh, that's probably worth the CP, right? Yeah. I mean, what, um, what's better than a four plus three roll on the Melter, right? No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> still a fail. That sucks, dude. Okay, so one invulnerable save to make on yep. Mortarian. He yep. passes. <laughs> Uh, and then the 12 shots from the rapid fire guns here. Rapid fire. Still in the tactical doctrine, so these are probably worth uh, doing rather than the uh, crack grenade or anything. Um, no longer any character support for these guys, though, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, what have we got there, Tom? Uh, no sixes. No sixes, so no wounds with those guys. Uh, I've got a crack grenade from the uh, ancient boat. Yes. Hits. Yes. He's a five to wound, though. Oh, oh okay. And then the Castellan Launcher or the Hunter Killer, which we'll you do. do the Castellan Launcher. That's four shots. Oh. And all here. And what strength is it? Strength six or seven? Uh, strength seven. So it's still only two wounds. Yep. Um, and I think it's minus one AP. Yes. So three up saves to make. Ooh, one fails. Is it D3 damage or is it two? That's two damage. Two damage. So I take one damage. Mortarian is down to six wounds. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna live. He's definitely gonna live, dude. <laughs> Hunter Killer Missile. Misses. Of course it does, and I wasn't even filming it. <laughs> I was over here somewhere looking at something else, <laughs> and I completely missed that. Um, so that is the end of that. Now you have an opportunity. You could charge with everybody here, including the tank, or you could charge with just the guys, and then when I kill them, then they might fight again from the banner. <laughs> Which might um, be more damage than if the banner guy goes in. Yeah. Oh, they only get, they, sorry, they only get one attack though. Maybe the banner guy's better. Comments, tell me, should the banner guy charge? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the banner guy is gonna charge. Okay, cool. Um, I think I might overwatch the banner guy. I got two CP. Oh, do I start with the whirlwind? You definitely start with the whirlwind. Yeah, whirlwind Because otherwise first. I overwatch you. Well, yeah, whirlwind first. Yeah. Okay, cool, he makes it. I'm not gonna um, overwatch that, because I could do three damage with the gun, or I could throw two to six grenades, not worth uh, it against him. the ancient. He needs a two, Tom, just push him in. <laughs> and the infantry guys, rolled a nine. Well, well in, cool. I cannot believe how shitty shooting face was. I know. <laughs> okay, he did one wound. 
<laughs> All right, um, we'll be back in a second with some combat. We've got some mopping up to do. This guy is dead. And uh, <laughs> we will see what happens at the end of the turn uh, after some combat. So uh, we did some combat off camera. And uh, first thing we did was we fought with these guys who charged. They did nothing. <laughs> Tank that's hitting on sixes due to a wounding on sixes. It was very hard. He made me take three saves, but I had a two plus because Tom still isn't in the Assault Doctrine. Then I fought with these guys and, I mean, they killed four last turn, so they killed one this turn, no problem at all. Um, now I'm going to fight with Mortarian. Um, I don't really know how to split my attacks either. I think I just might just kill the tank. Yeah. And just not, not worry about the infantry yet. You're obsecing me right now, but I'm I'm holding enough objectives. So I'm just gonna go after the tank. Let's deal with the tank. Uh are you rolling? Oh, they all hit. So cheesy that you can He selects himself every turn <laughs> as a core or character model to reroll. You get no save against this, and no. it's D3 plus three damage. So um yeah. you're dead. Do you explode? I can't no. see that dice. It's a one. Okay. Did I explode? Oh, I exploded the second time. Oh, time. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, scores totting up for the end of Tom's turn. Um, three, as he puts his rhino, uh, his whirlwind away, sadly. <laughs> um, it looks like the scores are really slipping out of Tom's uh, grasp now, and he's really down on units. He's going to score really poorly on secondaries. Um, he will continue to get Oath the Moment till the end of the game, though. But um, we are going to call it there at the end of Battle Round 3. We finished the Battle Round. Um, I think that's quite important when, uh, when we're ending a game early. Uh, but obviously, I, I score max yeah. on primary this turn. I'll score max on primary next turn to get a full 45. I will max all my secondaries. The Psychic Warp 1 is limited at 12, though, rather than 15. Uh, so I think that, with a Painted Army, gives me a 97 game. Yeah. Which is insane. Yeah. Um, that's assuming, of course, that Mortarian in Psychic and, uh, and Watts is able to kill these guys, which Psychic and shooting, I mean, no problem, right? I got that. Um, here, this guy just needs to do the ritual once more. He's got two chances. Oh, and it's a three to cast. <laughs> um, and I do have CP that I would use on that. Uh, and I just have to kill these three last fusels. I've got to score Terminators. And I've got to kill uh, this one guy. i got two Mortars. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, that will uh, seal the game. Um, so we'll be back in a second with some scores in the final round. Well, that was uh, one heck of a battle. Wow. Well, you just one had your battle, turns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it looked so close for a while. Like yeah. Things were on a knife edge, what it felt like. And then... Um, and you felt like you actually were on the back foot at one point. Yeah, you? I really did. I really thought that if... I thought maybe I'd overplayed Mortarion in the centre. Overcommitted Typhus, under supported them. There was only 20 Poxel because he killed them super easily. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then in the next turn, everything went my way. Like, <laughs> and then he didn't stand a chance after that. There was no coming back. No, I, I needed to kill Montarian. If I had killed Montarian at that point, I think. Well, it still would have been close. I think, I think it would have been a really close game after that. Yeah. I think if you'd gone first and shot Montarian before I did anything, then in that turn where I overcommitted him, he would have been dead. He would have then died. Yeah. Um, but I, I, there were certain ranged units that you had that just did nothing all game. Like you had <laughs> last fusels, right? Like I like that unit, but they did literally nothing. Yeah, well, my thinking was that minus three, the strength eight. Yeah, no, it's a really you good have unit. High toughness. Damage three, three, that's pretty yeah, good. I thought like, like okay, that's against was, the Bolter equivalent. If I was bringing plague marines. Then that's a really good gun. Yeah. Except you failed to wound consistently. Yeah. You failed to hit with him all the time, uh, with no character support out there in the open. No, and my eradicators were all over the place. Oh yeah, they're, they're yeah. a mixed bag. Really good turn one, Fair. or a bit. No, yeah. no, really good turn two. Terrible turn one and three. Yes. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then they did nothing in the final turn when we when we gave Mortarion his um, yeah his final. His assault marines did pretty well. Mm. I was surprised by the assault marines. They they caught me out. And then I didn't use my didn't use my relic against them. No. Which I was supposed to do seven dice and all the on four classes. <laughs> I should have killed them. I was so sure I was gonna kill them with wounds. And then I did two spells and did one. Yeah. Because I just I forgot what my, my plan was that I'd just come up with. <laughs> uh, so hilarious battle. 
But I brought an absolute brick, right? I brought two really hard to kill tanks. Yes. Two hard to kill blood drones. One that just had a gun. Yeah. It just floated around. Forty box walkers. You have to go to clear horde, and then Which ten terminators. Doing pretty well. you, were, you were clearing a horde. Yeah. You were able to kill the terminators when you needed to, but then you didn't have enough left to deal to, with to deal with this guy. Yeah. And I did the turn where you fired the big guns at this guy from the tank. You didn't get any damage through. No. Um, D3 oh, plus no, three. You didn't, get, you didn't get enough damage in. But he is an absolute beast. He is. He is. 18 wounds, I think your army could kill him in shooting. It really could. Yeah, if I had gone first. I, um, I, if I had had the first turn, because I have the range on you, I would have thrown everything at him. I had nowhere to hide him, so I thought, may as well put him out front, right? He's going to get targeted <laughs> anyway. May as well get those extra three inches of movement. Um, and then I sort of like, sort of occasionally moved him a couple yeah. of times. But I got him to throw his grenades. I got <laughs> to fire his magic pistol. Um, I got to use his uh, absolutely brutal damage uh, D3 plus 3 axe in combat several times. Uh, it eats tanks. Wounds. Yeah. It, it, it eats Dreadnoughts. It's minus one damage on the Dreadnought, but yeah. still absolutely wrecked him. I think we forgot the minus one damage on the Dreadnought when it happened, but we destroyed him. We forgot a few other things we fixed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we fixed a few things we did along the way. Of course, we forgot minus one to hit. We forgot yeah. plus one strength and toughness. Uh, but I don't think those changed anything. No, um, no, because I overkilled the box walkers. You overkilled the box walkers. You overkilled the uh, terminators. terminators in the previous turn. Dude, there was a there was a moment where I thought, oh no, <laughs> I think it's no when primary. you realised Typhus was out in the open. And okay, Morty was stood behind him, but couldn't support. No, because he couldn't directly intervene no. on him. And, and my you just shot off. just walked around the corner and was like, "Hi, I have a big <laughs> whopping hammer. I'm going to hit you with." Honestly, and then I, I was just like, okay, I can just shoot him to death instead. I thought that hammer, uh, and you rolled five attacks and you missed four times. Yeah. With a CP roll. Killed uh, me. And that, that was the end, right? We talked about maybe if you went first and stuff. You still had a chance at the side of the hammer. Yeah. Um, because then I would have struggled to get Ritual, because I only had one wizard left. And I would have gone after him. Uh, yeah, of course you stopped him. Um, probably would have cleared out your other box walkers. Um, the other box walkers, yes, if the assault, yeah. if the assault bolter guys had lived. But um, every time you guys stand near an objective that's got one of my things on the other side of it, you take it from me for a turn. And then you took it back. And then I kill you back. Yeah. And often I didn't lose a unit in that exchange. Um, and the, the two characters going after the bloke drone was, uh, <laughs> after it had eaten those bikers, these two heroes uh, for our saves going. It's kind of like if they got in, you know, did like... They both took eight damage and died. Yeah, I was hoping like, you know, Ghost Claw off old Huron plus the left hand. Did he even get to fight? I think he fought, but then he just died and didn't do anything, right? No, you interrupted him, just oh, murdered yeah. him. <laughs> and then realised he gets back up and then murdered him again with a massive cannon. Yeah, then I shot the shit out of him. Yeah, so that was an insane game. I can't lose only three turns. Much longer, much more talking sometimes you do. Yeah. The two of us. Last time we played was really. Really, really snappy. Uh, this one was a bit slow, but we got to use more Terran, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just go to get Magnus. We'll just have the Magnus. Yeah, list yeah, we'll have get a really, fun. really brutal uh, Thousand Suns list with some really crunch, crunchy units in it <laughs> that can compete with things like the Terminators and the Hordes of Boxwell. Because yeah. you've got Zangors, you've got your own Terminators, you yeah, your own Primark. Bring back my Terminators as well. Bring some range stuff, equivalent of my uh, my mortars, and it'd be a yeah. really good fun game. And some hell brutes, equivalent to my blade trains. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of battles we need to play though since lockdown. Yeah, yeah, now now lockdown is a lot eased in the UK. As you can see, we're not wearing masks and we don't have social distance anymore, uh, so we can do a lot more. So we will have more people coming on the channel as well, and so we will the repertoire will get back to what we used to have with like loads of different armies coming around instead of just like the th four of us trying to keep it fresh all the time and um, so yeah so make sure to keep up with our instagram because there will be all sorts dropping just to let like, everyone know what is coming up and just thanks again for all the subs and the fact that we're nearly a thousand is crazy because this is just a little like side hobby to us isn't it it's, well, it's your, your side hobby i shot when you asked me to yeah well we just like playing 4k don't we absolutely so yeah so if there are any armies you would like to see make sure to comment down below and um, we're going to try and see if we can get them. I know, like, we've never had Admech or Custodes or something. We can try. I got some Custodes. 
you have got custodies um, or Alpha Legion or something like that. I'd, yeah. I'd like to play some um, thousand point custodies with uh, Harry or Toby at some point. Yeah, that'd be very um, fun. Because uh, yeah, yeah, those guys they play a lot of thousand points, and uh, I've got custodians. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely something we can uh, be focusing on. But thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our absolutely mental game. Remember to like and sub because getting likes out there helps the analytics and lets everyone know that we are about and they might enjoy us as well, especially if you've enjoyed us. And we'll catch you guys soon. Bye.